Space is vast, an endless expanse that stretches beyond our imagination. It is full of mystery, with countless secrets waiting to be uncovered. Among the celestial tapestry, certain phenomena capture our imagination and curiosity. Auroras and supernovae are two such spectacles that leave us in awe. These events remind us of the universe's beauty and power, showcasing its grandeur. Auroras with their shimmering curtains of light dance across the polar skies, creating a mesmerizing display. They paint the night with ethereal hues, transforming the dark sky into a canvas of colors. Supernovae, on the other hand, are explosions of unimaginable scale, releasing tremendous energy. They mark the death of stars and the birth of new elements, contributing to the cosmic cycle of life and death. These phenomena, though different in scale and nature, are interconnected in the grand scheme of the universe. They reveal the intricate workings of the cosmos, showing us the delicate balance of forces at play. They show us that the universe is dynamic, ever-evolving and full of surprises, constantly changing and adapting. Join me as we delve into the science behind these celestial wonders, exploring the mechanisms that drive them. We will explore their significance in understanding the grand cosmic dance and how they shape our perception of the universe. Imagine a night sky ablaze with color. Shimmering curtains of light dance and wave, illuminating the darkness. This is the aurora, a celestial display that has captivated humanity for millennia. In the Northern Hemisphere, we call it the Aurora Borealis, or Northern Lights. Its southern counterpart is the Aurora Australis, or Southern Lights. These luminous displays occur near Earth's poles, where the magnetic field is strongest. Auroras are most commonly seen in oval-shaped zones around the magnetic poles. These zones are called auroral ovals. The best places to witness these celestial ballets are high-latitude regions, such as Alaska, Canada, Scandinavia, and Antarctica. What causes these mesmerizing displays of light and color? The answer lies in the interaction between the sun and earth. The sun constantly emits a stream of charged particles called the solar wind. This wind travels through space at incredible speeds. When it reaches earth, it encounters our planet's magnetic field. Earth's magnetic field acts like a shield, deflecting most of the solar wind. However, some particles become trapped in the field lines. These lines converge at the poles, funneling the particles towards Earth's atmosphere. As the charged particles collide with atoms in the atmosphere, they excite them. This excitation causes the atoms to release energy in the form of light, creating the beautiful auroral displays we see. The colors of the aurora are as varied as they are beautiful. They depend on the type of atom being excited and the altitude at which the collision occurs. Green, the most common auroral color, is produced by oxygen atoms at lower altitudes. Red auroras, though rarer, also originate from oxygen but at higher altitudes. Blue and purple hues are typically caused by excited nitrogen molecules. The intensity and movement of the aurora are influenced by the strength of the solar wind. During periods of high solar activity, such as solar flares, the auroras can be particularly vibrant and dynamic. Section 5. Supernovae, the dramatic death of stars. From the ethereal glow of auroras, we turn our attention to another celestial spectacle, supernovae. These are not gentle dances of light, but cataclysmic explosions that mark the end of a star's life. A supernova is the explosive death of a star. It is a cosmic event of unimaginable power, releasing more energy in a few seconds than our sun will emit in its entire lifetime. Supernova are relatively rare events, occurring only a few times per century in a galaxy like ours. However, they are essential to the evolution of the universe. They are responsible for seeding interstellar space with heavy elements, the building blocks of planets and life itself. Section 6. The Life Cycle of Stars from Birth to Supernova Stars, the brilliant beacons of our universe, undergo a fascinating journey from their birth to their spectacular demise. To understand supernova, we need to look at the life cycle of stars. This journey is a tale of transformation, driven by the forces of gravity and nuclear fusion. Stars are born from collapsing clouds of gas and dust, known as nebulae. These stellar nurseries are the cradles of star formation, where gravity pulls the gas and dust together. As the material collapses, the core heats up, and nuclear fusion ignites. 
This fusion process powers the star, allowing it to shine brightly for millions or even billions of years, depending on its mass. As a star ages, it eventually exhausts its nuclear fuel. The once stable fusion process begins to falter, leading to significant changes in the star's structure and behavior. The balance between gravity pulling inward and the outward pressure from fusion is disrupted. This delicate equilibrium is what keeps a star stable during its main sequence. What happens next depends on the star's mass. The fate of a star is largely determined by how much material it has gathered during its formation. Smaller stars, like our Sun, will eventually shed their outer layers, forming beautiful planetary nebulae. These glowing shells of gas are the remnants of the star's outer atmosphere. Their cores will remain as white dwarfs, which are incredibly dense and slowly cool over billions of years, gradually fading away. Massive stars, however, meet a more dramatic fate. Their greater mass leads to a more violent end. When they run out of fuel, their cores collapse under their own gravity, leading to a catastrophic implosion. This collapse triggers a powerful shockwave that rips the star apart in a supernova explosion, one of the most energetic events in the universe, scattering elements across space and seeding the cosmos with the building blocks for new stars and planets. Section 7, Types of Supernovae, Stellar Fireworks. There are two main types of supernovae, each with a different trigger mechanism. Type 1 supernovae occur in binary star systems, a white dwarf star pulls matter from its companion star. This accretion of matter eventually triggers a runaway nuclear fusion reaction, resulting in a brilliant explosion. Type II supernovae, on the other hand, occur at the end of a massive star's life. When the star's core collapses, it triggers a shockwave that ejects the star's outer layers into space, creating the supernova explosion. Section 8, Supernova Remnants, Echoes of Cosmic Explosions. After a supernova explosion, the remnants of the shattered star are scattered across vast distances. These remnants, known as supernova remnants, can be observed for thousands of years after the initial event. Supernova remnants are not merely debris fields. They are active and dynamic environments. The shock waves from the explosion heat the surrounding interstellar gas and dust, creating intricate and beautiful structures. These remnants play a crucial role in the evolution of galaxies. They enrich the interstellar medium with heavy elements. They trigger the formation of new stars and planetary systems. Section 9. The Importance of Supernovae Cosmic Alchemy Supernovae are not just destructive events, they are also creators. Deep within the hearts of dying stars, extreme temperatures and pressures allow for the creation of elements heavier than iron. These heavy elements, such as gold, silver, and uranium, are scattered into space by the supernova explosion. They become part of the interstellar medium, the raw material from which new stars and planets are formed. In a very real sense, we are all made of star stuff. The atoms in our bodies were forged in the fiery furnaces of stars and scattered across the cosmos by supernova explosions billions of years ago. Section 10. Observing Auroras and Supernovae, Windows to the Universe. Both auroras and supernovae offer us glimpses into the workings of the universe. They are natural laboratories where we can study the fundamental laws of physics and the evolution of stars and galaxies. Auroras provide insights into Earth's magnetic field and its interaction with the solar wind. They help us understand space weather, which can impact our technology and communication systems. Supernovae, on the other hand, allow us to probe the lives and deaths of stars. They help us understand the origin of the elements and the evolution of the universe itself. Section 11. Conclusion. The universe's grand show. From the shimmering curtains of auroras to the cataclysmic explosions of supernovae, the universe is a stage for an awe-inspiring show. These celestial events are not just random occurrences. They are part of a grand cosmic narrative that has been unfolding for billions of years. The universe is a stage for an awe-inspiring show. Each star, each planet, and each galaxy plays a role in this magnificent performance. The vastness of space is filled with wonders that captivate our imagination and inspire our quest for knowledge. These phenomena remind us of the vastness, beauty, and power of the cosmos. They are a testament to the incredible forces at work in the universe, forces that shape the very fabric of reality. The dance of the auroras, the explosion of supernovae, all serve as reminders of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the cosmos. 
As we continue to explore and understand these celestial wonders, we gain a deeper appreciation for our place in the universe. Our advancements in technology and science have allowed us to peer deeper into space than ever before, revealing the intricate details of these cosmic phenomena. We gain a deeper appreciation for our place in the universe. Each discovery, each new piece of data, brings us closer to understanding the grand design of the cosmos. The more we learn, the more we realize how interconnected everything is. We are part of a grand cosmic dance, a continuous cycle of birth, death, and renewal. This cycle is not limited to stars and galaxies. It extends to all forms of life, including us. We are all participants in this eternal dance, contributing to the ever-evolving story of the universe, a continuous cycle of birth, death, and renewal. Stars are born, live out their lives, and eventually die, giving birth to new stars and planets in the process. This cycle of creation and destruction is a fundamental aspect of the universe, one that ensures its constant evolution. So the next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember that you are witnessing the legacy of stars. The light you see has traveled across vast distances, taking millions or even billions of years to reach your eyes. Each twinkling star is a glimpse into the past, a reminder of the universe's ancient history. Remember that you are witnessing the legacy of stars. The atoms in your body were forged in the hearts of stars, and the light you see is a testament to the enduring nature of the cosmos. Every shooting star, every constellation, is a chapter in the universe's grand story. The atoms in your body, the air you breathe, and the ground beneath your feet were all once part of something much greater. We are made of star stuff connected to the cosmos in ways that are both profound and humbling. And the ground beneath your feet were all once part of something much greater. The elements that make up our world were forged in the crucibles of ancient stars, scattered across the universe, and eventually coalesced to form our planet. We are all connected to the cosmos in ways we are only beginning to understand. Our journey of discovery is far from over, and each new revelation brings us closer to comprehending the true nature of the universe and our place within it.